Well, the sun has just popped out again, which it uh, keeps doing, coming in and out. Um, but um, I put the drawing down, so hopefully we will be able to get on with that fairly quickly. Um, bit of a job to see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a cover over the top, so you can see a bit clearly uh, the um, the drawing. Just get that into focus. There we go. And as you can see, um, been a bit big with the tower, but I'm hoping to um, change that um, as I go, really. So um, I'm going to get started. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is lay a bit of sky on. And I'm going to try and, as I said, well, as I normally do, introduce a bit of drama. It's going to be a very quick painting. Uh, just a sketch, really, but sometimes the sketches turn out to be um, um, in a good, uh, a good painting. Uh, next, I'm going to... I'm going to use Payne's Grey this morning for the sky with Indian Red. So it's Payne's Grey to get the real strong sun uh, shadow work. And I'm going to cut that tower down a little just to ring the changes it's it's a little bit wide so if I can get that down into a smaller version then um, should be successful um, it's all running out of control at the moment and that's the um, the fun of watercolor painting um, there we go look at that I'm gonna clean the brush now and to the left, I'm going to introduce just the Indian red into the sky with a little yellow. Because I, I want... I want real drama into this. And the only way to get drama is to use plenty of colour. And that... That's better. That's pulled that um, down a little bit. That's good. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do with a flat brush is to tidy up the edges. Um, just, just tidy up some of these edges, lifting off here and there. It will run back, but it is basically a, a little tidying up, really, that I'm doing at the moment. There we go. Bring that right the way down. That's good. Okay, there we are, brilliant. Okay, now I'm going to bang in yellow with Indian red, get a nice dull orange on this left hand side. And that is going to sweep across as part of the sky. Now I'm adding Indian red and Payne's grey to get a real dark I mean it is dark I mean this is ridiculously dark for a sky um, but that's um, how I'm depicting it rightly or wrongly this is what you do look at that bit of blue in there yeah there we go go with the flow There we are, and I'm introducing a little Payne's Grey into this lower area here. There's cloud. It's a real, um, well, atmospheric um, is, I think, a little bit of an understatement, but. Um, when you're painting out of doors like this you just do what you can really and some more cloud work running into that cloud there 
There we are. As long as you don't lose control of it, then there's every chance that things can turn around quite well. We have been into this lower area here. Uh, there's a roof there and all the rest of it. Right, now all I do now is to clean the brush and use that to lift off clouds. So, area under there, roll the brush across, clean it, get the water off, and area there, there we go, look at that lovely cloud forming. Isn't that good? Not that difficult. And of course in this very, very dark bit, you can still lift off and see a little bit of dull blue sort of cloud work because drama is what I set out to do and drama is what I intend to end up with rightly or wrongly because that's that sort of morning I think Yeah, I'll pull that through, pull that through. Good. Okay. That's the drama I was looking for. Perfect. Let's leave that to dry. Well, I've not left it to completely dry because I want to bash on this morning. And now I've got to pick up the raw sienna onto the brush to try and get a feeling of the very light sunlight that I want on to this tower there and on to a small frontage there um, and this is also very very light in colour it's a buttress area there but we'll try and depict that later on. There's another very light kind of buttress area there, another buttress area, very very light. Here we are. Doing all the light side first, all the what I'd class as the sunlit side to try and create that added drama that um, now I'm looking for a very light grey here now which is for the front of that because that's a very light grey, almost white, so is that. And that's a shadow area. Oh, that's raw sienna there. So we put raw sienna into that. There we go. Good. Let's, let's put a bit of indication of where the building sits. And that's fine. Yep. It's just playing with colours really, you know. It's not all about um, depicting exactly, well it's depicting what you see, but it's not all about um, uh, copying what you see. Okay, allow that to dry. While that is drying, I'm just going to put a little bit of greenery um, onto the, the grass area. Start off with the cadmium yellow. Um, touch of paints grey in there because that gives it a better mood um, I think. Just keep using the paints grey because that's what I'm looking for, a mood. Not looking for um, um, anything um, too uh, colourful really. More yellow in we are and a bit more as we go away to the back there's a path there there's overhanging greenery um, and the rest of it there that goes away like that show that path up lovely right next thing I need to do is to get the shadow sides in well here we go Prussian blue and Indian red will be my shadow color and I'm going to paint, funny enough, 
right the way over the complete side and window round the memorial there there we are that's number one this is number two the constellations I think I ought to show not sure I've got the right number but don't think we're going to um, sort of be too fussy with that and over the window here just lift the brush off try and get a little bit of additional feels to where the light where the windows are yep now there's another one here always have fun with your watercolors never get bogged down into the the um, old uh, you know just purely um, copying what you see my experience it uh, it turns out into a watercolor but it's too too much of a can be too much of a good thing really which um, if you have too much of a good thing it never looks quite right like that there you go and of course a bit more red now in the mix for the tower now we have sort of like quite a nice We'll paint around those buttress areas for the tower, I think. One, two, one in the middle, and the one at the end. Buttress area there, drag down. There we go. Good beginning to see the shadow sides now it's all very interesting um, might as well just put in the uh, other little old edges there um, there's one there one on the end there and then there's another one there good 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 so far so good now with that same color I'm going to pick up the buttress areas that stand away um, which would uh, also have a bit of color on that one there there is the window area I'm going to pick up leaving a bit of light going to pick up that window area there that window area there and that window area there so that is notice how I'm leaving a bit of light on those windows purely to give that feeling of um, strong light Windows there, buttress area there, buttress area there. Well, and that comes right the way down. Another one to stand out there. You can only depict certain aspects of this build. I'm not going to get into any fussy detail. Right, so it's all shadow at the moment. Um, there will be some more shadow area goes it going going in later, but at the moment it's begin to pick up the shape of the build now. That door there. Um, what else have we got? We've got a couple of windows, but we've got a buttress area there in between the windows. So that's interesting. And there is a window there and a window there. Just depict them. Don't show 
don't show the viewer too much that's my um, philosophy good now I'm going to put in the tower now um, and that is going to be going to be Windsor Blue with Indian Red but it's going to be very dark now I'm going to paint that comes down like that like that Well, tells us the time, look, just as we're painting it. And there we go, lovely. And then we we'll just add more red with a bit of Payne's grey just to get the dark sort of an area where it sits onto the bell tower like that and I'm going to now sharpen these little areas up just to give a suggestion a bit of light go yep oh and this will have shadow as well so that needs quite a nice this is a buttress area that comes out there that needs shadow and another buttress area there that can't stands out will need shadow And this area of the buttress will need shadow. I do like buttress areas on paintings, on churches, and they give you the, give you the opportunity to um, to create uh, additional interest in many ways. Another buttress area there that we can just see the front just there like that that's in shadow um, and there is an area there that's also in shadow yeah yeah I think that pretty much sums it up um, good 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 right now we're going to add some detailing to this it's all very suggestive um, and then we've got the constellations along there. Oh, and then they get quite big because there's an area. Oh, there you go. Never spotted that earlier. That sits back in shadow. You know, as you paint, you begin to see more things, really. And uh, that's the thing that makes painting so interesting. You know, you see every part of the um, the, the painting you know you see it all um, which quite often you don't if you're just taking a photograph although I would say uh, photographers would tell me different probably there you go and then there's a bit of lining there good let's sit back and see how that's coming along well I've just been joined by a uh, very interesting uh, passerby young lad and uh, he said he's going to look onto my YouTube channel thank you very much indeed for doing that uh, hopefully there'll be another subscriber Anyway, 
here we go. Um, still bashing on um, with um, all manner of finishing touches. Um, going to put in now. Um, before I do any more to the church, to the um, cathedral itself, I'm going to paint in a little bit of greenery now, and uh, I'm going to use strong greens again. Uh, Windsor blue, uh, cadmium yellow. Let's do Windsor blue and raw sienna. Windsor blue and raw sienna. There we are. It's it's a bit more of a solid mix. For um, got these spiral spirals. Lovely topiary in this planting. Try and pick up that topiary there, like that. Good. Now, we're really going dark now, so I'm going burnt umber with winter blue. Actually, I'm going to use Indian red in there as well. So, that will still give me a green, very blue green and it'll give it a real punch and that's what i'm looking for a little bit of yellow in there and that is to depict this tree overhanging here now it's nowhere near as dark as that in at the moment uh, but we're not um we're not painting what we see we're making we're making a giving an impression of what um, I think will create a feeling of atmosphere. Let's use the drag meth method. There we are, look at that. Is that any good? Well, perhaps not. Let's go back to the pointies again. There we go. It actually comes right in at the top here. So I might as well take it right out of pitch. Well, not quite out of picture, but very open at the top. A branch coming over there. And we have another branch that's coming over there. So that's all very, very nice and very interesting. Don't want that to dominate the church, which um, a bit more yellow in the mix now. Just give it a bit more. Feeling. Not that to jo dominate the um, the painting at all, but um, well, there you go. It's in now. So, what can we say? That overhangs that. There we go. Good. Now I'm putting in. While I've got this colour, I'm doing the shadows of the topiary there. And then I'll pick up a bit of yellow. Is that enough yellow? Probably. Actually, it's not, but I'll put some yellow in it to pick up the little box hedging around these border areas. There we are. Look at that. Not difficult. It's not difficult to achieve. Clean that brush thoroughly. Then we paint in some distant green, which is plenty of blue, for this background here, which I'm not sure whether that's the right colour in the end, but um, let's just soften that away. Ah, oh, that's better. It's too light. There we are. Bit of depth into that blue. That's what I wanted. Light, but depth. Lovely. Right, we do have a, a, a roof here that's all part of the building at the back, which um, is going to be Windsor Blue and Indian Red again. So that's the roof there. It's a bit high, but there you go. And it picks up the back edge of that memorial top and then comes down across down to show the buttress areas of the building the old uh, part of the 
cathedral at the back. There we are. That's the way you depict that. And there's actually a window here, so we may as well bang that in as well. Which um, is always a good thing to do. It's a bit low, but there you go. Uh, it sits back on there, and we just sweep that away like that because it's going to be shadowed. And let's put that in to justify it. There we are. And the memorial begins to uh, show up. The uh, well, it's not a memorial, it's a large um, tomb of some sort. Good. Okay. Now, let's get in the really, really dark detail. And that will be, as I've done before, Prussian blue or winter blue and Indian red. And for that is the windows. Belfry windows, just hint at those. And another good hint is a secondary sort of shadow. Like that. Well, then we have casting shadow from that buttress. A secondary casting shadow. Look at that. All of a sudden, bang. You've got that lovely fern of sunlight hitting that side of the building. Uh, windows here, well, there's one or two little touches at the top. Then we've, had, we've got one window there, one window there, and a window there, and there again, we've got the secondary shadow. And within no time, we begin to get a sense of real sunlight onto the front of that building bang that in as well, there we are. Perfect. And away we go with the rest of it really. Window there, window there, only very small sections in, in the centre but let's say this is very much a depiction, it's by no means a Perfect. Um, there we are. Let's put a little bit of the bottom. By no means a um, what you'd call a um, a detailed image, really, at all. Right. We've got one, two, three, four, five. That's easy enough. Five sections. So we've got one in the centre and two each side. One. If I just put the tops in, and we know we can see where they are. One, two. There we are. And then we just brush those down like that. That's that main window at the back. Down to there. And then a little bit lighter this time. Going to bang in this shadow. Uh, a little bit down there. And of course we've got all sorts of fantastic detail at the top there. Uh, it's very sort of gothic window affair. There we are. Good. And of course this window then comes up a little bit higher. Uh, we have a um, little bit of detailing on that, but like that. Um, we do have a bit of detailing there, which is all in shadow, so we're not uh, too concerned about 
what we've got. Good. Okay, let's sit back and see how we're getting on. Right, now I've painted in the right hand side of the tombstone Not there. Filled. That's that's a tombstone, isn't it? Hey? I've been joined by Imara today, haven't I? Is that your name? Yeah. Good little girl, aren't you? And what have you been eating? Sausage rolls. Do you like sausage rolls? Good. I, I think you also like painting, I hear. Yeah. Is, is that right? Yeah. Good. Because if you like painting, it's, you know, a nice thing to do. Okay, I'm just tying up one or two, tidying up one or two little edges here and here, there and there. You real you realise you're being recorded? You'll be on YouTube. I've just been told that my easel is not high enough by someone that actually knows nothing about art at all. So what would you like? Hang on, I'm just painting look. That's one of the areas of downpipes and that's the other one. I'm not going to put in too much more because I don't want to spoil the overall effect. I just need to put in the top of that roof there. Hang on, I'll be with you in a sec. Good. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, now I'm just going to put in what I'd class is the finishing sort of shadow in the uh, in the foreground there. So there's like a little plant of some sort there, and that would be cast in a shadow like that. And then out of picture, we've got another shadow that runs across like that. There we are. Now as we come forward. We had more yellow, more blue, that's Windsor blue, cadmium yellow, and we sweep the brush across like that. And into that I'm going to bang in cadmium red. So a nice bit of red into that will actually help the overall feeling of atmosphere. Clean the brush, pick up some grey for the grey of the path that's in shadow there and a little bit more deep blue for the shadow that's cast by the topiary. Like that. A little bit of shadow here and at the back of that. Like that. Okay, let's take the surround off and see, um, see exactly what we've got. 